Yeah, this is Calvina, man. Uh, I don't normally do gun reviews, though I often like watching them. Um, but the reason why I'm doing this one is because they're online. I don't really see that many gun reviews on this particular gun. Um, and I wanted to get one, and it's for anybody else who is thinking about adding this gun or looking into this gun. So this is just for those people. But the gun I'm talking about here is uh, it's a Smith & Wesson m and 357R8. It is a performance center model. It was running in the range of about 1300. Um, it's an eight round revolver. And the thing with this revolver is it, it's a revolver that has a rail, uh, a rail on the bottom and a rail on top. And this one is has the light on it or, that I put on there. But um, this eight cylinder revolver, I want it as my main bedside self-defense option. Um, living in California, I have 10 rounds max anyway. So having eight rounds is not that much of a disadvantage. This home defense uh, handgun replaces the first one that I used to have for for decades. I ran with this Smith and Wesson 910 9 millimeter. Has no rail. Has safety on it. I shot this a lot. Um, it's aluminum, it's not polymer. It reduces any type of recoil. But I wanted a gun with a, a rail on it. And one of my options that I had the one I use in my battle belt, uh, it's Glock 34, California, only limit to 10 rounds. So, 9 millimeter, 10 rounds, it has the optional for a light, but doesn't come with a rail. Uh, don't know if I would need that for home defense, but it would be good to have that option. So, 9 millimeter is good, probably good for home self-defense. Um, but you have to uh, either leave it loaded and cocked, which I wouldn't want to do around the house or in an emergency if you either have to rack it and use it from there but a revolver and this revolver is not loaded a revolver it doesn't have a safety if i had to pick up an emergency i don't have to rack it for one hand if i'm trying to defend something off with my other hand, I can always just grab a revolver and pull the trigger. Pull it again. Pull it again. No racking. Uh, that, I just feel like, is an advantage in an emergency. If you had to just pick a gun up and pull the trigger. Uh... That's that's one thing I have. And then most of the gun road reviews that I saw, they never really featured the idea of putting any red dot or anything on the top. So that's the one of the things that I wanted to show any prospective buyer of a gun like this, that you can put a scope on it or a red dot. And so I had a series, a few different red dots that I tried different options and uh, show you what they look like. Yeah, this is a red dot, the one I usually keep on my shotgun, uh, Bushnell TR-25. Now this one, it's kind of bulky, well it is bulky, especially for a, a pistol or a, a revolver. And it also, if you can see, kind of 
kind of obscures the, the view. You're trying to see beyond the target. It's kind of bulky and in the way. But I tell you, this did it take to the range, and I shot it, and even without uh, no zero in it, it still was effective. It's just it's kind of it's real top heavy or awkward on this one. Okay, another option was kind of reflex sight. Easy type I put on my um, AR platform. Well, these don't obscure as much around around the front here. Um, and these type of reflexes, you know, they have the different reticles that you could use. Um, but again, it's kind of bulky. Um, so I wanted to get something like this, but probably a little bit smaller. So I went with the micro red dot okay so the micro red dot is probably a little bit better for me it's not as bulky now the issue is still you know fit into a holster I came up with a remedy for that but uh, I'll probably show that another time but um, here with the red dot on top and loaded out it's still not that heavy it's kind of heavy it's not that heavy Anyway, and then these guns come with moon clips. And I didn't really know how to uh, load them at first, so I uh, kind of bent one. But Smith & Wesson sends you three. And uh, with this Hornady ammo, they load up really, really fast. You know, some ammo, if it doesn't have the little rim on it, it doesn't load up as fast. But you can swap out eight rounds pretty fast. The uh, 38 Special, these are not Smith & Wesson Moon Clips. I got these online on Amazon. They don't fit as tight. And they, you kind of have to jostle them and try to get them in. Uh, so the different Moon Clips, probably get more of this Smith & Wesson Original. And less of these other ones because they're kind of finicky about getting in there, but still, it's not that hard getting in, you know. For eight rounds, uh, a Smith and Wesson sells the moon clips for like three, about three bucks. So, you know, your Glock mag, at least these Glock mags that I had, they fit 10, they what they ran me like 20 bucks or so so I could get about six of those for you know and these can fit in your pocket or in a pouch or something but yeah I'll uh, run some footage of me shooting this thing but you know I like it